So do you have a beer belly? Are you the kind of guy that when people see you, they don't think you're overweight. They, you've got a normal shaped face. You've got normal shaped arms, normal shaped legs, but you've got an extra 20, 30, 40, maybe even 50 pounds right here in the midsection. It is, you've got this stomach, you've got this gut, which just sticks out and you're doing your best to get rid of it. You know, it's not healthy, but you need to dress for the body you have. Guys, this video is about dressing when you've got a gut, when you've got a beer belly, how to help cover that up. Guys, you got to dress for the body you have. And you can't go into a big and tall section because you're not super tall maybe, or you're not really big as they define it. You just simply have this extra weight right here and you want to dress in a manner that you can present the best you. Guys, in this video, I'm going to give you five tips so that you can go do that. And gentlemen, I'm going to point you over. If you have not seen my 15 free eBooks over at Real Men Real Style, you need to go check these out. I go into a lot more than just what I'm talking about in this video. I talk about sunglasses, I talk about accessories, I talk about shoes, watches, everything is covered here because style is not just about your clothing. It's also about how you present yourself, your accessories and the man that you are on the inside. All right, guys, let's get into the five tips. So tip number one, and you guys have heard me say this, you need to get comfortable wearing a jacket. No other piece of clothing is going to do a better job of hiding a gut, of at least making you look larger in the shoulders and in the arms than a jacket. That's what this is specifically designed for. And guys, when I say jackets, I'm not necessarily talking suit jackets, although I think a suit jacket and if you decide to go casual, there are so many options there and you can stand out from the crowd. But sport jackets, this is a sports jacket right here. And yes, you can wear them four seasons. I know some of you guys are saying Antonio, incredibly hot. And I'll get into that in a second. But for most of you guys, you can actually find, you can, I live in Wisconsin and I can tell you, I can wear a sports jacket. Yes. Even in the summer, especially if it's unlined, maybe down in South Florida, I wouldn't be able to get away with it, but there are special materials, very tropical weight wools. You can get these jackets very pretty much unstructured, but let's talk about other types of jackets, jean jackets, guys, Jean jackets actually will help a larger man, especially if you've got a gut, they will help you. The, the thing with jean jackets though is a lot of them have a slimmer profile. So you're going to go to want, you're going to want one you can actually button up. Another thing, look at a leather jacket. There's a wide range of leather jackets. You can go with a fatigue, maybe something a little bit longer, but a leather jacket is going to be a great way to build up the shoulders, make your arms look a little bit bigger. And all of this does, it doesn't make your stomach look smaller, but what it does is make you look more, more proportioned. And that is the key point to pulling off a jacket. Now, tip number two is to wear long sleeve shirts and to look for shirts that actually have epaulets that actually have double breast pockets. And I know some of you guys in hot weather are saying, okay, Antonio, tell me more about this. Why a bears go check them out. All of a sudden a why a bear. And this is a shirt specifically made to be worn longer. And it's going to look better on you than simply if you're wearing a tight t-shirt. And that's what a lot of guys with guts think that they can pull off. And I will say, stay away from t-shirts. Always look to go for a shirt that's going to be long sleeve. It's just going to look more proportional. And there are so many materials out there that are lightweight, breathable, that that is going to be just as cool, if not cooler than a t-shirt. And if it's that bad, roll up the sleeves. All of a sudden it's going to look more, again, it's going to keep the proportions better looking. And overall, this is going to be a much better look. Now I talked about the epaulets on the shoulders and the pockets. The reason you want to go for that is it's going to build up your chest. It's going to build up your shoulders and you want to sometimes look for a little bit of a rigid material, something that's going to give you a little bit of a point out here. Again, we're looking to build up the shoulders. There's no way I can reduce the size of your stomach, but overall I can affect the way that we see. And that takes me to point number three, which is to have a monochromatic look and in general, go for darker colors. So darker colors, and you've probably heard this black is a slimming color. Women talk about this all the time, but it does apply to guys. Basically what we want or allow the eyes to go up and down. What you don't want to do is wear something that draws attention to the midsection. So belts that have a high contrast with what you're wearing, you don't want to do those. Instead, you want something and you can go with lighter colors. You can go with medium colors, but I find darker are going to be the best for slimming you up. But if you are a lighter color guy, then simply make sure that everything you have is lighter colored. That way, again, the eyes can go up and down. Tip number four, 
Look for shirts, look for jeans that have stretch fabric in them. And the key here is that not that you need stretch fabric because you want to wear it tight and you want it to stretch. No, that's going to be a horrible look. What you want though is as you move around, as you bend over, that all of a sudden you, the clothing is going to have a bit of a give. So whenever you go like this, whenever you move around, it's going to have a bit more stretch and it's just going to be more comfortable. You don't want to have hot spots. There are jeans, many of them out there with stretch fabrics and they actually they've come a long way. You want to go with a regular cut. Do not go with slim, do not go with baggy, just go with a regular cut because I know that your legs are, are, you know, for a lot of these guys, they're just, they're normal proportioned. It's in and around the gut area and it's the waist that you want to pay attention to. So make sure that they do not cut into your waist. You're going to probably want to go for a lower rise uh, that's going to work. If you have a real issue, you can look at trousers when you could, can wear them high. You're going to have to make sure the trousers do fit in and around your stomach and you're going to need to utilize suspenders. Tip number five, get everything tailored and adjusted to fit you properly. So you've heard me say this before, but I think with a man that is actually carrying a little bit more weight around the midsection, I find that a lot of these guys with the beer gut, it goes straight out. It doesn't necessarily go out on the sides. And what that means is that when you wear a jacket, you can actually have it brought in a little bit on the sides and it's going to give you a leaner cut. Now again, you go in with darker colors, I get up close, yeah, I can start to see that you've got a little bit of a pouch right here, but still I can see that you're well put together and there's a big difference between a guy that uh, is fat and sloppy and a guy that is sharp, large and in charge. Very different, you know, type of feel and people, you know, they're going to be noticing this stuff. Now all this works in with the points I said earlier about wearing a jacket, wearing darker colors, going for long sleeve shirts. Now with your shirts, you want to make sure, especially in and around the stomach area, there's no tension on the buttons. So you may have to get, and I talked about tailoring getting the shirts actually custom made. What you don't want to do though is you don't want to get it too much tighter in and around the chest, especially if your stomach is a lot bigger. You, it's probably going to be better to be a bit loose right in here, but it is going to be something that you may want to look at custom clothing. You definitely want to get everything adjusted to fit. Also I talked about trousers, how sometimes they cut in. You can actually have sometimes trousers opened up. You can have suspenders buttons put right onto those so it's going to be easier to wear or you can actually even some cases they can actually bring the jeans down just a tad. Now it may not be worth it. I always think it's going to be better to find a pair of jeans than having them adjusted especially up at the top but if it's cutting into you then look to have I think they're called comfort sides and basically it's, uh, these comfort waists have an elastic on the sides. There's a few companies that make these, but you can sometimes have a tailor put them on it. But if you're out there you know, searching for clothing, I like to actually have that on some of the trousers because a lot of the bigger guys, your waist is going to expand in and out. But okay guys, that is it for the points. I have a lot more that I cover in my 15 free ebooks over here. I've got stuff for all different body types, uh, accessories and watches and shoes and all this other stuff that you may need. But guys, I would love to hear from you down in the comments. What are some of your best tips for guys that have a beer gut, that have a little bit of extra weight? If you've got some good tips, I would love to hear them. Guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.